dear students welcome to build from basics youtube channel let's, let's talk about relation between voltage current and power in a pure capacitive circuit here the circuit source ac source is supplying a capacitive load the instantaneous voltage current and power waveforms are given in this um, uh, figure right the blue and red blue waveform is voltage waveform and red is current waveform as you can see the current waveform is uh, leading the voltage waveform that means if the voltage is zero the current is already at maximum when the voltage is so that means the current waveform is leading the voltage waveform by 90 degrees that means in a, in a pure inductor current leads the voltage by 90 degrees the reason is you know the capacity is nothing but what it's 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 two conductors separated by a dielectric medium so when a capacity is connected across a voltage source immediately the voltage doesn't build up instantaneously so the capacitor starts charging slowly by taking the current from the source therefore in a purely capacitive circuit the voltage in, uh, cannot increase in phase with the current as capacitor needs some time to charge this makes the voltage to follow the current and the voltage reaches its peak value sometime after the current reaches the result is that in a pure capacitive circuit the current always leads the voltage by 90 degrees if the uh, capacitor is not pure then the angle is little lesser but in a pure circuit it is 90 pure capacitive circuit the angle is always 90 degrees now let's look at the instantaneous power similar to the inductor in the capacitor also the instantaneous power pulsate between positive equal uh, positive and negative half cycles and the frequency of this power is is uh, double the frequency of voltage so as the voltage has uh, one cycle here it is a blue curve and the power has two cycles so but if you see the average value of this power it is nothing but zero the purple line is average value because it has pure, uh, both positive equal uh, positive and negative of cycles the average value of power in a pure capacitor circuit is zero basically there is no difference between inductor or capacitor in terms of instantaneous power only the difference is the sign so in in, in the uh, during the first half uh, during the first 90 degrees in a inductor the power is negative but in a capacitor it is opposite positive so it starts from in an inductor it starts from negative to positive in a capacitor it starts from, it starts from positive to negative that's all that is only the difference so if you look at the now the, the equations for uh, active and reactive power basically the angle between voltage and current is minus 90 degrees that's why even though if it is minus 90 cos minus 90 is zero anyway so active power is p is equal to vi cos pi that is zero watts and reactive power is minus vi because sin pi sin minus 90 is minus one and finally the upper end power is equivalent to reactive power so it is similar to inductive circuit the circuit elements are shown in the table so what we'll do let's take a single phase supply 11 kv supply 11 kv is a, 11 kv is a phase um, line voltage and um, uh, the phase voltage is then uh, 6.35 kv let's take the uh, let's take a transformer of uh, 23 kva and with a ratio 6.35 kilovolts uh, in the primary and 230 volts in the secondary so then the rated current in the primary is 3.62 kilo uh, ampere the 3.62 amperes and the secondary is 100 amperes uh, to supply uh, now let's calculate the resistor inductor and capacitor using these formulas so z is equal to z is impedance here z is equal to v squared by s here v is the voltage that is 230 
and S is the power 23 kVA. So R is equivalent to Z and L is Z by 2 pi F and C equivalent to 1 by 2 pi Fz. If we use these formulas, we will get these values. So now let's run the uh, simulations. Again, the right side graph shows, uh, shows some results. The blue curve is voltage and red curve is current. As you see, the current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. And the green curve below is power, instantaneous power. It oscillates between positive and negative half cycles. So you can also see that it is the frequency is uh, double the frequency and the average value of power is zero. And the current, RMS current is 100 amperes, which is equivalent to the inductive and resistor case. Okay, place with the inductor and run the simulations. So now it is an inductor, run the simulations. So the right side, the blue and red curves in the graph are instantaneous voltage and current. As you can notice the, the current the current here lacks the voltage by 90 degrees. The green curve in the graph below is instantaneous power. The power equally oscillates between negative and positive half cycles. That's why the average power is zero. The RMS voltage and current shown in the graph below. The RMS current is 100 amperes, which is equal. Active and reactive power, you know, together they make the upper end power. The active power is the multiplication of RMS voltage V and RMS current and the cosine of angle between them. The units of active power is watts or kilowatt or megawatt. The reactive power is, it is the multiplication of RMS voltage, current and the sine of angle between voltage and current. The unit of reactive power is kilovolt ampere reactive. KVAR or volt ampere reactive or megawatt. It depends on uh, the amount of uh, reactive power. And finally, the apparent power, S is, the, the, the units of apparent power is either volt ampere or kilovolt ampere or megawatt ampere. This is just uh, reminding some basics to you. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video. We hope it is helpful to you. We request you to subscribe Bill from Basics YouTube channel by clicking the bell button and share with others for those uh, whom you think it is uh, relevant. This will encourage us to post more such videos in future. You know, you can always post your questions in the comments and